Hello everybody, my name is Dave from Blue Bears Games again, and welcome back to Kraken Packs Mystery Booster Box 3 of 3. So, so far, we've had two boxes, one box really good, exceeded expectations, one box kind of in the middle. I really hope box 3 is not the uh, uh, bad, bad version. I've seen some people complain that the packs weren't that good. I still have a list of about 15 cards I need, some in the rare slot, some in the mythic slot, some in the foil slot, and some in the common and uncommon slot. So, let's go ahead and take a look and find out what we get out of mystery box number three. Alright, crack this baby open. So, we're in the midst of the pandemic. I, myself, am currently on... <clears throat> day 7 as of today of my time to quarantine and it does not look like there is an end in sight all is not lost though we have plenty of stuff to do here and lots of time to do it always look on the bright side people always 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 for instance I'm opening mystery boosters hopefully we get some good stuff so I hope you guys are staying safe out there, and gals, and those who don't identify. Stay safe, don't go out. Let me zoom in just a little bit here for you. Alright. So, I still have a couple of things I'm trying to get, and if I get them, I will let you know as I open them. Uh, one of them, Uncommons, is a Demonic Tutor. I am still short on them, and I need them. So, rare slot. First one is Dolmen Gate. Uh, a Grave Titan, don't need that, and then a Foil Bringer of the Black Dawn. <coughs> so, not as good as the first booster mystery box that we opened. That one started off with a Mana Crypt, I'm not expecting it. Alright, so, one of the uncommons I needed was Aura of Silence. So, at least that I can cross off the list. See if we can get two things out of one box here. Or out of one pack, sorry. Let's take a look. Alright. Now there's another one. I need another Thought Vessel for a couple decks. Alright. I uh, don't think that... I can't remember. Is that a rare? I think that's a rare. I'm not sure. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any Mirage stuff. So, Floodgate. Uh, Revel in the Riches. Not a bad card, actually. Uh, I actually use it uh, for uh, win cons in a lot of decks. And then Patron of the Moon. Boil. Has Moonfolk offering, 7 to cash, 5, 4. Uh, flyer, and for 1, put up 2 land cards from your hand into play tapped. That's actually pretty good. Kind of expensive, but, you know. When you're using it for Commander, it doesn't really matter. Some of this use costs a lot. Okay. Alright, next pack. <laughs> so an Aura of Silence is good. Let's see if we can get more than that. Uh, we got a Rager. Looks like... Uh, it's an uncommon, isn't it? Yeah, it's an uncommon. I don't know that. Alright. The rares for this pack are Recruiter of the Guard, which is a 3D cast 1-1. One, one. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a creature card with toughness 2 or less. Reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle your library. Yeah, <laughs> I can't use that for anything. And then a foil knot of this world. Alright. I keep hitting the, the stand because, you know, I haven't been up very long today. Uh, I've been sleeping a lot just because I'm trying to keep myself healthy. That's what you all should be doing. Stay home, sleep, and get healthy. I had to use my teeth on this pack. Let's see what we got here. Got it strike and stave off. And so artifact is actually it, it's only good because somebody was able to find a way to use it, I think in uh Pioneer. Defeat. No, that's not good enough for me. I need better stuff. Come on. Come on. Give me something good. Ooh, a Black Knight. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. That was one of the cards I needed, too. Uh, there were a lot of black and white 
<coughs> excuse me, artifacts that I needed, uh, or a grasp of fate was one of them. Uh, when it enters the battlefield for each opponent, exile up to one target non-land permanent that player controls until grasp of fate leaves play. Uh, I wanted to use that in a Layla. And then Herod, Herald of Leshrac. It's uh, 70 cast, 2 4 flying, cumulative of keep of gain control of a land you don't control. And then it gets plus 1 plus 1 for each land you control but don't own. And then when it leaves play, each player gains control of the lands that they controlled. Interesting concept, interesting card. Quite expensive. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. I'm hoping, as I said in the last one, that last video, <coughs> that I uh, I grab a lot of the stuff that I need out of this last box so that I can actually do the two videos in a row that I've been trying to do. I've got two. Oh, I got a Thopter Foundry needed one of those as well. All right, so I've gotten most of the uncommons that I needed. All right, uh, what I've been trying to get is a Layla Maronar, and then I'm going to work on another deck starting after that. I have them done, but they're not finished. All right, Stunt Double, Fortecast, Flash. You may have Stunt Double under the battlefield as a copy of a creature on the, any creature on the battlefield. He looks Pinnacle Foil. That was one of the things on the list. I had a friend ask me what I needed from here, and... So far, this box is giving me <clears throat> some of the things I needed. I'm really hoping for the black enchant that I need. Like, I need a Dictator Erebus. And I noticed something really strange. I really am not happy about it, actually. <clears throat> the uh, gods are in these boxes, but I have yet to see one. And this is, you know, the third box that I got. I haven't seen a Demonic Tutor, I haven't seen a Manamorphose. Like, a lot of the cards that are really, really just stuff I would want, and anybody would want, I haven't seen. Okay, this is one of the cards I asked for as well. Oh, good, so it's starting to fill in the holes. Uh, Teferi, Temporal Adept. I wanted to put this in my Loro deck. I did not have it. I may make some swaps or some changes to put him in. Uh, he is a 6 to cast uh, Teferi Planeswalker. Comes into play with 5 loyalty. His plus 1 is to look at the top 2 cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand, the other into on the bottom of your library. So he's like a scry with a draw. Uh, scry 2 with a draw. Um, his n n minus 1 is to untap up to 4 permanents. And then the emblem is you get an emblem you may with. You may activate loyalty abilities of Planeswalkers you control any on any player's turn. And any time you can play an instant. On top of that, he can be your commander. Uh, I've been wanting some of the ones like this just to add to other decks. So, And the foil is Bramblewood Paragon. To the cast 2-2, each other warrior creature you control comes into play with an additional plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. Each creature with you control with a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it has Ramble. <coughs> That's actually a good pack. Both the cards are pretty good. Uh, I like lords. I like to make uh, budget decks for people using the lords, and that is a warrior lord, apparently. Even though it's an elf. It's an elf warrior, but it's still, a, you know, it's still a lord. Lords are ones that are anthem effects attached to them. Alright, for those of you that don't know, I'm sure that most of you know by now, though. Woohoo! Hey, hey, yay! Finally, after three boxes, I finally got a freaking demonic tutor. Alright, let's see if I can get another one out of, the, out of here. So, that's good. So this box is producing the things I need, not necessarily the things I want for monetary value. So <coughs> that's a good thing. All right, there are three cards left in this pack, so let's take a look. Uh, the rare, the first one is Chancellor of the Annex, uh, seven to cast five six. Uh, you may remove it from your opening hand. Uh, you may reveal it from your opening hand. If you do, each opponent casts his or her first spell of the game is countered and. Unless they pay one, and then he's flying, and whenever an opponent casts his spell counter, unless they pay one. Eldrazi Monument, I didn't need. Uh, I got one in one of the other boxes, however, I'm sure any tribal deck that I make for the future will have it. And then a Foil Souls Attendant, so Foil Soul Sisters. I'd rather have a Foil Essence Warden, to be honest with you, but beggars can't be choosers. Do, do, do. Do 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 do. Damn, these packs are hard to open. Some are hard, some aren't. I don't get it. 
All right, so let's see what we get here. My tutor makes me happy. That's all I wanted from the last box. Focus in, camera, focus in. Thank you. Dread waters. Exclude. Breeding pit. Do. Let's see. Nope, nope, and nope. And. I can't remember if that's a freaking rare or not. I think it might be. I'll put it in there. I'll look it up later. Night of the Dawn. I can't remember. 30 cast, 2, 2, first striker. Gates protection for the color of your choice. Alright. So, all of a sudden, I'm having a problem with the camera. Focusing. Focus. Alright, whatever. Alright. If that's not the rare, this is. Uh, Steam Flogger Boss. Which, by the way... I'm a little confused by this. It has an unsymbol on it. And I know these are not legal in anything. Okay, I'm a little confused by this. Alright, uh. Yeah, I'm a little confused. Alright, anyway. Is Maru Hound of Kanda the one that cast 2 2 Legendary Hound? Is my uh, foil. I'm so confused by that. I don't know what. I'm so con Hold on. Are you telling me that they put unstuff in here, like unhinged and un unglued and all that stuff in here in the rare spots, even though you can't play them? I didn't remember reading that on my uh, <laughs> on the list of rares. That's like a useless card completely. That whole pack is useless because of that. All right. Um. Nope. No demonic tutor. No metamorphos. It looks like. Let's see, Farmstead, no, alright, rares, start here, the rare, first one, Violet Ultimatum, two black, three red, two green, lots of mana, alright, destroy three permanents, oh man, I saw Phyrexian, I was hoping to see the one I need, it's not, it's a Plague Lord, five the cash, four, four, blah, 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 I don't care, and Codex Shredder, I need a Phyrexian Arena, I need two Phyrexian Arenas, Alayla works and Mara Nar. Hell, I need five Phyrexian Arenas. I just need Phyrexian Arenas. Alright, let's take a look here. Making thoughts. That's pretty much what I have in my head right now with all the stuff going on. Smash to smithereens. Not helping. Wow. Well, Alright. Not a great box so far. Odric, Luminarch, Marshall. You know what? Hold on. Let me. I don't know what's going on here with the uh, zoom and the. There we go. I'll just bring it closer. Odric and Gilder Bairn. Uh, for each target on target permanent, put another of those t counters. And then Odric, which. You know. Not the greatest. Oof. Not starting off. We're almost halfway through the box, and it filled a lot of the common and uncommon needs, but the rare needs it did not fill yet. All right, let's see what else we got. Arcane denial, blood artist, blah blah blah, la la la, and that's a good one. All right, so I know it's it's uh it's only a common, but it's one of the most expensive commons. Not the most, but one of the most expensive commons in the game. Rhystic Study. My problem with this is if I didn't have any of these, I'd be happier than a pig in schlop. However, I had like 60 of these things just because I played back then and I liked them then. Uh, Rhystic Study is OP when it comes to <coughs> being in any blue deck and commander. And it reads as follows for those of you who live under a rock. Uh, 30 cast enchantment and whenever an opponent plays a spell, you may draw a card less that player pays one. You've seen the memes everywhere. Do you pay one? Do you pay one? It's everywhere because it's that good. Alright, the rares. Th that is actually the most valuable card I've opened so far out of everything I've opened. Uh, Felidar Sovereign is a, uh, whenever you, during upkeep, if you have 40 or more life, you win. It's a 4-6 creature. Braid of Fire. This is actually a cool card. I'm going to read this to you guys. This one's pretty cool. So, <laughs> and the reason why it is the way it is is because mana burn used to be a thing. For those of you that don't know, whenever you had unspent mana in your mana pool, it dealt one damage to you for each mana you had. It no longer applies, and this card is freaking ridiculous now because of it. 
Uh, two to chaos enchantment with a cumulative upkeep of add a red to your mana pool. That's all. It literally is supposed to be a drawback card that would kill you eventually. Instead, it is ridiculous. Because even if you don't spend the mana, you don't have any drawback to it. It literally just says keep adding. You know, remember, cumulative upkeep means one, then two, then three, then four. So it gets kind of ridiculous kind of fast. It's a cool card to have. <laughs> I don't have the deck for it yet. But now that I own one, I may find one. Or may make one. All right. So, let's hope for Phyrexian Arenas. Still no Metamorphosis. No. However, I see something in the back there that I'm happy with. All right. Tyler's Tracker is a good card. Three to cast for a 3-2. So right off the bat, it's actually pretty good power toughness for converted mana cost. Then it has whenever a land enters a battlefield under your control, you investigate. Investigating is putting an artifact into play that has two tap, two and sacrifice, not even tap, two sacrifice and draw a card. One of the issues green usually has is card draw. This helps solve that problem very easily. And then it says whenever you sacrifice a clue, you put a plus one plus one counter on Tyler's tracker. So <coughs> it even buffs itself up. And this I'm happy about for a reason. So I already have a Morrow Gnawer, but I'm making a Morrow Gnawer commander deck. I want to make rat, rat Tribal for the fun of it, just because I owned one. And I was hoping for, the, you know, the love of God, please, let me get a foil one in one of the packs out of three boxes so I can just use the foil version instead. <coughs> so, there it is. I will not be using the normal version at this point. I will be using the foil version going forward. That gives me an extra Mara and all or two. What that's going to do for me, I don't know. Alright, let's continue. Uh, Sparring Mummy. Disenchant. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Do, do, do. Yeah, I'm just skipping through most of these things. Burnished Heart's good. Oop, I keep hitting the damn camera. Alright. Boo, I don't really care for this card. Beastmaster Ascension is the rare. Uh, whenever a creature you control attacks, put a quest counter on it. And then after, I think, 9,000, you get plus 5, plus 5 of your creatures. It's 5. Maelstrom Nexus. I actually don't know what this does because it has too many colors in it. Five, one of each color. First spell you play each turn has Cascade. Actually, not bad. <laughs> if you're playing five color, I don't understand why you wouldn't play that. It literally plays things for free. Do, 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 do. Alright, let's continue on. Circular Logic, Divination, Thaled Omnivore, Wake of Vultures. Ah, regrowth is good to have if I didn't have 4 million of them. Alright, Rares. <laughs> Draco is a 16. Yes, yeah, 16 to cast, 9-9. Nine, nine. Costs 2 less to cast for each basic land type of my land you control flying. And at the beginning of upkeep, you have to pay 10. And... Uh, you sacrifice them unless you pay 10, and then this cost is reduced by 2 for each basic land type. So another 5 color card. <sighs> Angel of the Dire Hour. Two, two, two. And there's a battlefield, you cast it from your hand, you exile all attacking creatures. Okay. And Balduvian Rage, which does me nothing. Okay. We're a little over halfway done the box. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping for a Fraction Arena. Uh, or a Dictate of Erebus. I really need one of those, too. Alright, Dismantling Blow. Foil. I have foil foils. Faster Creep. Do. Yeah. Dragon Brood Mother. I don't really like this card at all. I'll let you read it while I hold it here, because I don't really care for it. <laughs> Alright, next is the Gatrog Monster. Not, not a... Horrible one they get. I have one. Um, everybody seems to love it in the Lands Matters deck. And Sarkham the Mad Foil, which I don't really care for. It was actually in the first pack I opened of the boxes all together. It was a full, I think it's a full of Sarkham with the uh, Mana Crypt. <sighs> do, do, do. I can't believe no Mana Morphosis. None of that. None of the good, really good. Like, 
commons and uncommons that... Oh, God, that's two bad ones in a row. Hypnotic Spectre shit. Michael Auth, I already ordered one. Noggle Bond Bandit. Uh, I'm just skipping to the next pack. Ugh. Why such a crappy card as Hypnotic Spectre is in here, I don't know. Uh, Alright. Yeah, it used to be worth it playing a long time ago, but... I can't believe some of the stuff. I, I I mean, there are so many things that I could have gotten, and I'm not getting them out of these boxes. Like, all right, Duretti. I don't know what Duretti does. I know he's a commander one. All right, so four cast, three loyalty, plus two is discard up to two cards, then draw that many cards. Minus two is sacrifice an artifact. If you do return target artifact card from your graveyard to the battlefield, so he swaps them. It's not bad. Minus ten. You get an emblem with when an artifact is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, return that card to the battlefield at the beginning of the next upkeep, and he can be your commander. <sighs> and Stigma Lasher foil. Poop, poop, and more poop. I need stupid rares, not mythics. I actually looked through the list of, you know, mythics, and I don't need any of them, really. I need all rares, and I can't even get them. Because I'm getting things like Hypnotic Spectre instead. Come on. Uh, let's see what we got. Armillary Spheres are good. Okay. <coughs> Carpet of Flowers. One to cast enchantment. During your main phase, you may add up to X mana of one color to mana pool, where X is the number of islands an opponent controls. Not horrible. I believe this is an uncommon, actually. Ooh, well, that's a good one. Queen Marquesa. Everybody seems to like this girl. I don't know what she does, so let's read her. Uh, red, a white, a black, and one of any. Death Touch, Haste, 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, you become the Monarch, so that's why they like her. At the beginning of your upkeep, if an opponent is the Monarch, put a 1-1 one, one black assassin creature token with Death Touch and Haste onto the battlefield. Okay, that's pretty good. And a foil blasting station. Queen Marquesa is good. <clears throat> I can see why people like her. The Monarch thing is kind of a weird, you know. Well, it came out in Conspiracy, so that's why. It's kind of a weird thing. Alright, what else we got? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's see, Gelectrode, Son of Manamorphosis, ugh, 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 Belby's Portal, five to cast, when it comes into play, choose a creature type, put a creature uh, card, put a creature card of the chosen type from your hand into play, I see why people would like it, but, uh. <laughs> and Marin, uh, Marin of the Clan Neltorth, Neltoth, uh, one green, one black, two of any, for a three, four, whenever another, Creature you control dies, you get an experience counter. At the beginning of your end step, choose to target creature card in your graveyard. If that card's converter mana cost is less than or equal to the number of experience counters on, or experience counters you have, return it to the battlefield, otherwise you may put it into your hand. That's a good card. I may actually put him in Slimefoot <laughs> and put, take something out for that. That's actually a pretty good overall card. It's a good commander too, actually, because it's always recurring. Do, do, do. Let's see what we get. Do, do, do. Refocus. Do, do, do. Alright, my first god. <coughs> now, <coughs> I haven't looked at my stuff in a while, and I don't think I have it. I have a list of, people, uh, of commanders that I want to use. Some of them I don't actually own. He's on the list of ones I want to use, but I don't remember if I own him or not. So, regardless of if I do or not, now I do. Uh, he is Krufix, God of Horizons, uh, green and blue, so he's Simic. <laughs> and three of any. 4-7, indestructible. As long as your devotion to green and blue is less than 7, he is not a creature. And if unused mana would empty from your mana pool, that mana becomes colorless instead. It never empties, it stays colorless. It's kind of like Locus, uh, Omnath, Locus of Mana. Only it turns it into colorless. <laughs> Nissa voices Sendigar. Oh, two mythics in one pack. Okay. Uh, three to cast Nissa Planeswalker. Comes into play with three loyalty counters. 
Plus one is put an 0-1 green plant token onto the battlefield. Minus two. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. And the ultimate is minus seven. You gain X life and draw X cards where X is the number of lands you control. And Alchemist Refuge. Wow, that actually was a great pack. Uh, I'm a fan. It's actually pure Simic. If you really look at the cards, Alchemist Refuge is actually Simic too. You make It's a land that says uh, green, blue, and tap it. You may cast nine land cards as though they had flash. Crucifix and Nissa. This is all Simic right here. That was a great pack, actually. If I was drafting, that would be the hardest, uh, hardest, hardest thing to pick. I mean, you, who do you pick? That's a, that's a, wow. That's good stuff right there. I would obviously go with Crucifix because I'm a god junkie, but whatever. Doesn't mean I should. You know what I mean? All right, dude. Let's see. Wayfaring Temple. Okay, good. <laughs> At least I got that. So I need about three of these, because for some reason I don't have any. Dictate of Erebos. Uh, two black, three of any. Flash. Whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent sacrifices a creature. I need about five more of these. Thank you. I have one. Deadly Tempest. Six to cast, destroy all creatures. Each player loses life equal to the number of creatures he or she controlled that they were destroyed. Didn't know this existed, so I have a lot of decks that's going to probably go into an archetype of endurance. It's spoil it, don't care. I've got Dictate of Erebos. <laughs> Dictate of Erebos, I've been trying to get because there's a. Uh, it, it's actually redundancy. I can't remember the name of the card off the top of my head, but you know, somebody will remind me. The three black, one of any, and then still has the same effect. So I needed, you know. I need a bunch of both of them, just because I like black in my decks for that reason. Alright, shenanigans. Do you mean shenanigans? Alright. Cool. I was hoping for this. This is making my box, actually. These last two packs have made my box. Alright. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this one. All right, Silvala, Heart of the Wilds. Three to cast, Elf Scout. It's important to realize she's an elf. For a 2-3, whenever another creature enters the battlefield, its controller may draw a card if its power is greater than each other creature's power. Then, one green, tap, add X mana and any combination of colors to your mana pool where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. It's a good card. I was hoping to get one of those. And then a Frozen Aether. I still haven't seen one of the, the, the foil cards that I want. Um, <coughs> I need that stupid blue enchant that says whenever a creature comes into play, return something. With, or untap everything. I can't remember the damn name. Uh, you'll have to excuse me. I have MS. My memory is really crap. I have to rely on others for some things. And then my uh, uh, <coughs> apps that I use to help me remember names of things. I remember what they do, but I can't remember their names. So excuse me when I keep saying I don't remember the name. But it's the card that, the blue enchantment that says, uh, when a creature comes into play, untap all other creatures. That's the best you're going to get from me right now. <laughs> you gonna like it? Oh, well. Just kidding, guys. Uh, I still didn't get it, though. No Phyrexian Arena means I can't make the decks. Alright, the rare. Crag and Wick. Cremator, 4 to cast, 5-4. When it comes into play, discard... Card at random, if you discard a creature card this way, it, it deals damage equal to the card's power to target player. Star of Extinction, 7 to cast, so expensive. Destroy a land, does 20 damage to each creature and each planeswalker, and then Iron Mirror, so. No, I was hoping for at least a second crypt if I was going to get nothing else. I need an arena. It's the last pack. I need an arena. Come on, guys. Give me a... Give me some... Some good juju here for a stupid fraction arena. Do, 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 do. Fire and ice, tectonic edge. I didn't get it. I did get it. Uh, the rare is Toxin Sliver. 4 to cast, 3 3. I don't mind slivers though. Uh, when the sliver deals combat damage to a player, destroy that creature. It can't be regenerated. I did get that though. So this was on my list. I just didn't get the. So far, I think the only thing I'm missing is the fraction arenas. Uh, I need this for Nikusar. Uh, 
uh, Fortecast for a sorcery. Exile target card that's an instant or sorcery from your graveyard. For each card exile this way, copy it. And you may cast a copy without paying its mana cost. And exile Mystic's Overload. Or Mystic's Mastery. Overload. Five and three red. Exile all instants and sorceries from your graveyard. And then cast them without paying their mana cost. So... And then the last foil is a four to cast three three flying. You may cast it from exile, and for some reason this is a mythic, which today I don't think it would be. All right, so as far as money cards, I couldn't really tell you that I got a whole lot. Um, there's value in here. Uh, again, I, I think that this one was a break even box. It, that, you know, uh, I guess. I mean, as far as usability. This had more usable cards than most of the other boxes. Actually, I'm pulling them all out now, and it looks like there was a lot of usable. I mean, this Maranar doesn't have value as you know as much as some of the things here, but for me, it's just a. I don't know, there was a lot of good stuff in here. I can't complain. So no, I didn't get a Frexian Arena. Yes, I needed like six of them. So. Um, what I'll be doing from here on out then is I will be posting up pictures of these on the various Facebook groups, uh, looking for trades. Uh, I need an, at least two or three more Dictative Erebuses, and now I need about seven Frexian Arenas, so, uh, anybody out there that's paying attention, I will, you know, be posting up some of this stuff. If you want something, let me know. Uh, as far as anything else goes when it comes to non-magic related, stay safe out there, guys. Um... After a lot of things, uh, I'm even, you know, I'm not scared per se, but I have underlying health issues. One of them is difficulty breathing as it is. So this is serious. So stay inside, stay safe, keep watching videos. Hey, I've got about 90 of them on here. There's no harm in watching them. Even if you don't like them, just watch them. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'm going to ask you to do the obligatory things, you know, like the, the, the video you just watched, like some of the other videos that I have up there. Share them out. There's plenty of groups you can share them out to. There's Twitters. There's a lot of Facebook groups. Please help me out. Get my name out there. Um, you know, I got to name my channel over the weekend. I got, I, I actually skyrocketed to 104. So I thank all of you for that. <laughs> super, super, like thankful for that. Uh, next step is a thousand, and that's like a really, really steep climb. I thought the hundred was gonna come quicker than it did. It didn't. And I thank you, those of you that did help. Uh, it's appreciated. You have no idea. It makes me feel good to know that I can get some kind of assistance with that. Uh, so share them out. Let other people see them. Uh, and uh, that's about all I got for you guys today. Uh, hopefully next time you guys see me. Um, my Actually, I forgot to tell you guys. My hope is that this actual video will not air until two Fridays from now. And I'm hoping that I got enough that I can squeeze a Layla in or Maronar in as a video in between. Uh, sooner hopefully I, I I can deal with it so that's what's next on the agenda and again if you have any questions or concerns you know I've got the Facebook page you can send me a message there I've got the comment section below here you can you can send me you know comments or questions down below and I'll answer them as quickly as possible we're all home all day every day now uh, until this is over I mean I'm always home all day every day anyway since of my disabilities I can't go to work so I'll try to get any questions answered as soon as possible. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if not, maybe give me some suggestions on what would make you enjoy them more. Uh, uh, until next time, though, um, stay safe and I will see you guys later.